Get ready, guys. I am going to be teaching you the secret to maximum compression at the bottom of the golf swing. This swing secret will change your life, so stay tuned. What's up, Miracle Swingers? I have got a dynamite golf secret for you today, and I think that the entire golf swing should be built around this little secret. Now, I've seen very few people in my 40 plus years in golf talk about this, but it's such an important thing. It was the basis of my first successful video product called The Hogan Code. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about that in just a second, but I want to first walk you through a story where I was applying this secret, and it was the last Skins game. Okay, so me and Danny, a pro, are playing this other pair, which is Peter, the head pro at Altadena. PGA professional and Marcos. Marcos is a top amateur who ran off nine birdies in a row before at Brookside. Okay, so these guys can really play some good golf and make a lot of birdies. And Danny and I found ourselves in deep trouble. We were coming off a of number 12 and we were five down with six to play. And I'm like, man, we're we need to step this up a little bit. And Danny's like, we got this, man. No, no problem. You know, so Danny wins that hole and we got five holes left. And I went on a birdie barrage and won four of the next five holes and pulled it even on 18 with a two-footer for birdie that I converted. And, and to be honest with you, to be able to play golf in a situation like that and really respond is the greatest thrill in the world, especially if you guys know how my swing evolution started. I was so frustrated and I don't think that that there was any satisfying way to understand the golf swing. I've, I've been down every rabbit hole, okay? And I honestly feel I'm convinced that I've got the miracle swing. That's why I have this t-shirt on. These concepts, it, it's not that I know more than anybody else. It's that I've gotten rid of 95% of the bull, okay? So let me tell you about this one revelation I have, okay? So this is the push-pull. You've probably heard me talk about the push-pull, okay? So let's imagine that this golf club is a spoke right through the center of a three-foot wheel. So if I push with my right hand, the head goes towards the ball, okay? If I pull back with my left hand, it does the same thing, okay? So this, this action right here turns the wheel. The center of the hub is in between my hands, okay? That, that hub is not, this point is not moving, okay? I can move that club head, but that center point is the point of leverage, okay? That is in between our hands on the grip up here. This is the hub. This is the, the center of the push-pull. We're pushing with our right hand while we're, we're pulling back with our left hand. This point doesn't really even move, but that club head moves like three feet. That's how you get that compression and that snap at the bottom of the arc. That's how you get that thump. I'm trying to move that hub from the top of my backswing down in front of that golf ball, and then boom, push-pull, club releases, shaft gets sprung through the ball, and you get maximum compression with the least amount of effort. But understanding the hub that's between your hands on the grip and being able to control where you get that at speed so you can maximize your release, that's the key to an easy release, great power, and no effort, okay? So I love you guys. Pick up the over-the-top miracle swing. It'll change your life. Again, it's the most important things you have to understand to be able to leverage the golf club and hit amazing golf shots. And right now, the introductory price is about as low as it's probably ever going to be. So I love you guys. Let's dig into today's video. 
All right, at this point I've hit a few wedges, starting to loosen up. I'm working on this low left with loft release, which is all about the way I'm using the hub on the handle. I don't want that toe to be rolling over as I'm releasing that club head through impact. That was a nice solid hit there. So as I was saying in the opening, we have to understand how we leverage the handle. And I've seen hardly anybody ever talk about it. So it's really important that we understand that the two hands are working in opposition around a center point in the middle of the grip that's like the center of a hub of a wheel. Now, when I see golfers that really hit the ball hard, they get into this position. Now, notice these dots where the hub is. That hub is hardly moving. It's maybe moving a total of a foot through this series of pictures. And the club head has moved six feet. So that's kind of the secret here is we have to actually slow the hub down and accelerate the club head. If the hub continues to move at the same speed as the club head, you're never gonna get any whip through the bottom of the arc. So I actually work on stopping down at the bottom of the swing. And that gives me a feeling of the club head getting tripped, so to speak, so that it goes flying forward and springs through the golf ball. And getting the shaft to spring is another big part of this as well. We want to feel, like that's just a little short push-pull drill. Um, we want to feel that that shaft is working in concert with our release so that we get the benefit of the power in that transmission, as opposed to just bouncing the ball off the face of the club. Like if we had our arms and the club working without a hinge in the middle, then we'd just be bouncing the ball off the face. And people who release the club too early, that's the appearance that it has. That there's no, no kind of crack at the bottom of the swing. Hogan ball. But the guys that are really, really good that I see, they all have this move. And it really is a matter of getting that hub to speed up and then slam on the brakes so that the club head goes crashing down through the golf ball. And that's what it feels like when I'm hitting the ball the best. When I was working with Justin James, the long drive champion, he actually had me work on stopping at the bottom, accelerating and stopping. So this is one of these concepts that I don't think the old timers were aware of, but they did it. So that's the, the, remark, the remarkable thing about what I'm doing nowadays is, I believe the old timers had the best way to leverage the club with the deep inside takeaway and the over the top move. But now I've combined it with some modern understanding of biomechanics. And that's a big difference. So here's my three wood. For some reason, I felt like I was a mile away from the ball this day. You know, I'm not very tall, but I felt like I was really on a super flat plane, this three wood. But I'm just still working on the push pull you know, knowing where that hub is in relation to the ball and where I want my low point. I'm getting up to some drivers here. Now the driver, I basically want that hub to start stopping before I get to the ball. And this is a feel thing, but I really think that it's one of the biggest secrets in golf. I think that really good golfers feel this, but they probably haven't articulated it. That's one that I, kind of hung out to the right and I have to remind myself to go OTT. Now this next one, I'm going to take it up high like Ben Hogan. <laughs> going for that high release.
it just feels so good when you can hit a ball with effortless power. So at any rate, guys, work on the push pull. It's going to do wonders for you. It's going to help you to find that effortless leverage that everybody's looking for. And you're going to start crushing the ball in a way you never have before. And also, don't forget, pick up the over-the-top miracle swing. All these concepts are in that video, and it can change your golfing life forever. So until next time, I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. The modern golf swing is wrong. Stop taking the club head back outside the hands. Stop keeping your lead heel planted. And stop dropping it under. These moves are biomechanically unsound and they can lead to serious injuries. Did you know almost all the champions from the past took the club back to the inside and lifted their lead heel? Did you know the top 10 winners in the history of the PGA Tour are all over the top? That's right, they're all OTT swingers. The Pied Pipers of modern instruction have led everyone astray, getting them addicted to buying clubs and endless lessons to try and fix the very problems they've created. Champions like Bobby Jones knew taking the club back to the inside, lifting the lead heel and going over the top is the easiest way to hit powerful, consistent golf shots. Hey guys, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of the Over the Top Miracle Swing. And I'm gonna give you the secret to the whole program right here. So when you look at the great champions from the past, they all had an inside takeaway. Now from there, there's only one place to go. You have to go a little OTT to get the club head back on plane. This is your kind of, your body's bringing the club back inside. You're up here. Just let the club fall on the ball. It goes long and straight. So, Bob, what's your lowest round of golf so far? Shot a 69. <laughs> All right. Now, I believe this video series is going to help end the insanity that's happened in the world of golf instruction. That was as pure as anything I've ever hit in my life. And I hope you'll pick up the seven sacred steps of the over the top miracle swing or the OTT checklist. Until next time, I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Take advantage of our introductory pricing for this complete seven video miracle swing course and be a part of the fastest growing movement in golf. Say goodbye to endless lessons that only reinforce bad habits. Say hello to a pain-free swing that will give you unbelievable power, shot after shot. Take control of your future and pick up the seven sacred steps of the over-the-top miracle swing.